Welcome to the studio. Now it's pretty late and I am super tired, but I didn't want that to stop me from getting this content out. And believe it or not, I'm stoked because I really think deltas are ready for the mainstream now, especially at this price point. So it, stick with me. It's going to blow your mind. So you are looking at the brand new FL Sun T1 Pro. And other than it saying T1 Pro, when it boots, it's about impossible to tell the difference between this new version and the original T1. But I know that that's just cosmetics, of course. But FL Sun is just killing it lately. And this new T1 Pro is just so freaking good. Um, I wish everyone could experience it. Now, the original FL Sun T1, if you remember, was really loud. Like, loud enough that you didn't want to be in the same room with it when it was printing. And uh, that's changed. So the T1 Pro is now only about 55 decibels with the door closed when you're just a few feet away from the machine. So now you can print and work in the same space. In fact, um, I couldn't even live stream with the original T1 running in the same room. But now the T1 Pro with the changes, uh, the sound is just like any other 3D printer. So uh, this makes it so much easier um, and nicer on my ears. And I kind of feel like uh, this was really the only negative to the original T1. And now that that's been addressed, uh, there's nothing really stopping people from having one of the fastest and most precise printers on the market. We're just going to jump right in here. As for materials, the T1 Pro is going to handle all of your standard filaments like PLAs, PTGs, TPU, ABSs, ASAs, and even nylons and polycarbonates. Um, the enclosure is really nice, and it's going to make it perfect for those more exotic materials. And it even has side panels that you can just like uh, twist the little tabs and remove those, so that's kind of nice too. Now, I've only run the FL Sun High Speed PLA that they sent me. And it ran so well, I didn't even want to swap it out and try any other brands. We'll have to do that in future videos. But some of the testing I did was in upwards of 800 millimeters per second, with travel speeds maxed out at about 1,000 millimeters per second. And it was absolutely perfect. Um, in fact, watching a machine print at 800 plus millimeters per second is almost, I want to say, creepy. Um, it doesn't even feel real. It's, it's insane to watch. So hopefully you're seeing some crazy B-roll, and I don't even know if the video can capture the speed. These, these things are just incredible. I love them. Specs-wise, the T1 Pro has a maximum nozzle temperature of 300C and a maximum bed temperature of 110C. So it's kind of a little bit over that classic 300-100. It prints at speeds up to about 1,000 millimeters per second. And that's the claims from FL Sun. And I was pushing it right up to that limit uh, with this T1 Pro. So uh, as a Delta, it has a different build volume. And it's about 260 millimeters in diameter by about 330 millimeters on the Z. Not that the Z on the Delta is the same as other 3D printers. Um, they're a little bit different than a traditional 3D printer because at 330 millimeters on the Z, that's just in the dead center of the build plate. And because the way the motion system works, the effector essentially has to drop if it moves in any given direction. So you really don't get that 330. It's more like a cone. And so I would expect that you get somewhere around like 280, 290 or something like that out of it. But uh, anyway, that's just, uh, I wouldn't say that's a, a shortfall with the machine. That's really just the way the uh, Delta motion system works. Now the build plate, is the classic textured flexible PEI steel sheet. It's got two tabs in the back that kind of make indexing it nice. The touch interface is bright, super responsive, and I love the real-time feedback of the millimeters per second uh, that the printer is cranking out. Um, it's nice to see it spike up to a thousand millimeters per second, and it's just awesome. Now, as for print quality, that's tough because the original T1 printed really well, and I wasn't expecting the new T1 Pro to print any better at all, let alone so much better. You're looking at a giant bolt and nut that I downloaded from Maker World, and I printed it at about 300 to 500 millimeters per second. And you have to look really hard to find ringing or artifacts that you don't like. The threads on the bolt are amazing, the overhangs are great, and the nut matched as you'd expect and spins on super smooth. Um, it's really just perfect. Uh, I can't really find any flaws. Um, I can see that where there's some speed changes with the uh, finish on the filament, but other than that, it's a it's pretty much a perfect print. It was printed at a 0.2 layer height as well, so um, I think the nut took about 55 minutes to complete, and I believe the bolt was less than three hours. So isn't that crazy? 
Look at how much filament we put down and uh, just how fast it can be completed. Now, the T1 Pro produces a Benchy in about 10 minutes. Um, and it's actually a really good one, too. Um, I'm a realist when it comes to this kind of stuff. And so I can compare a, a 10 minute Benchy. And I know a lot of people, whenever we do YouTube videos and we go, look, this is an eight minute Benchy or a 12 minute Benchy. Everyone's always like, I've seen better. My, you know, my XYZ can produce a, a 36 minute Benchy better. Well, of course it can. So that's, that's not what we're talking about. We're talking about that this right here is a 10 minute Benchy. And that's nuts. Now compare that to the S1, which you can't see is just out of uh, view right there. It has an eight minute Benchy and it doesn't look this nice, but still Benchy that fast, crazy. Looks really good. So you'll get some B-roll of that. I know everyone's asking the question, why is the T1 Pro so much better than the T1 that we've looked at before? And I think there are a couple of things going on here. First, there is the new FL Sun Slicer 2.0. And it now feels a lot like a more stable and complete slicing experience compared to the previous release. The filament profiles available for the T1 Pro are so much better. Um, but I do wish we had a few more options for like common speed settings. Um, and I'm sure those will come in an update. But I would like to see like a super fast or a like, like ludicrous mode like in Bamboo. Second, I think it's the firmware on the machine that's new. And it's as close to perfect as I think we're ever going to get um, out of an FL Sun machine. Now, I don't know if this new firmware is going to make it to the original T1, but I did get an email from FL Sun um, just about maybe a week or two ago that there was a firmware update for the original FL Sun. And I know I'm pointing over here. That's just because that's where the original FL Sun T1 is. But I think it's the firmware. They've done a fantastic job really cleaning up and addressing any of the little issues that were spotted by uh, content creators and owners of the previous T1. So this machine feels just so darn good. I would say it's, it's as close to perfect as I think we're gonna get. Now, definitely like and subscribe because I'm gonna be comparing the original FL Sun T1 and the T1 Pro. We're gonna do a head-to-head -head kind of comparison and kind of show those two machines off and you'll probably get to hear the sound difference, right? So that's kind of like a big issue with the, with the T1 is just how loud it was. So we'll do a comparison and I think we'll probably get a decibel meter and, and do that. So make sure you're, uh, you're subscribed. Okay, so back to my comment about me saying the FL Sun is killing it. And if you're interested in deltas, this is the perfect time because this machine is going to end up on my list of top 3D printers in 2024. It's just like I said so many times already, it's just so near to perfect. Um, I don't know if it can get any better. Um, it has Wi-Fi 3D printing, as you'd expect. So sending prints over the network from the slicer to the printer is just as simple as a one or two click process. And uh, you can also use a USB key uh, here on the front if you want to walk your prints over to the machine uh, via sneaker net. Just like the original T1 and S1, um, it's all Clipper now, of course. So you get that nice Clipper web-based interface that allows you to remotely monitor it and manage your machine, tweak all your settings. And uh, you can stop and start prints, all that good stuff. And of course, it has a built-in camera, uh, so you can you can monitor it and uh, or generate time lapses. Now, as for who I think this machine is ultimately for, I think it really comes down to this: if it came pre-assembled, like its bigger brother, the S1 and the S1 Pro that will be here soon, then I would say this machine would be for everyone. But because it does take about an hour to assemble, and it could take a little longer. You know, maybe more for those who are brand new to 3d printing this machine is going to be a lot of people's second third or fourth 3d printers and i would put money on it that this is going to be one of fl sun's best selling 3d printers because hang on and i'll tell you the price in just a moment now i talk a lot about user experience and it just how important it is going forward in 3d printing and it feels like fl sun is literally watching my live streams and my videos because the slicing experience is great, sending the prints to the machine is great, the speed at which it heats up and starts printing is great, it's super fast, and of course the print results are perfect. Now, you can tell that FL Sun has put a ton of effort into the overall user experience, and that's really, ultimately in the end, that's what sells printers. Now, I do wish that the network scanning and the slicer was better. Um, that's kind of an important part of user experience, and I think a lot of companies miss that. And uh, the FL Sun Slicer 2.0 um, kind of misses that as well. I just wish that there was a way to say, you know, add printer and it, and it would just scan just like um, any of these uh, newer slicers are doing with their machines. So FL Sun, 
I would love to see that. I'd love to see some auto scanning on the network uh, to identify your machines. Now, I do have one caution for those that buy this machine and have it loaded with a full spool of filament. When the machine is finished printing and the effector goes to the top, any filament slack goes up with it and it can end up coming off the uh, hubs of the spool and if you're not paying attention on your next print you're going to end up with a failed print because there's a giant knot of filament that came off the hub and uh, that's that's just not a good thing so it's happened to me uh, twice so something to uh, to be careful with it's not I like I said it's not a, an issue I don't think um, other than just it happening on full spools of filament when the slack goes up now are you ready for the price this is absolutely insane, and I don't even know how FLSUN is doing this. It's $399 right now. $399. That's insane. And I think that's their early bird price between now, the release date, October, what, 25th, uh, through November 3rd. Um, it's unbelievable. I, I don't even know how you get a machine like this for that price. I don't know. But anyway... If you're interested in the Delta, this is the time to go grab it. And of course, I'll have links on the screen and in the description like usual. And this is really why I think that this is going to be a lot of people's next uh, 3D printers. And it's this point in history when Deltas go mainstream. So this is a solid, well-built machine. And dare I say, as close to perfect as I think FL Sun machines are going to get. And uh, I think it's going to be perfect for people who are prototyping or want one of the fastest machines on the market or just want to watch the delta motion system because well they're mesmerizing and uh matter of fact if i wasn't sent this machine by fl sun i'd be first in line uh to be picking some up so if you want a delta now's the time so uh let me give a big thank you to fl sun for sending over this uh for us to look at and to share with our audiences and don't forget to like and subscribe because the fl sun s1 pro that's the bigger brother, but it's the new Pro one, is already on the way here. In fact, it's being air freighted to me right now uh, so I can get that content to you as quickly as I can. So stay tuned for that. And also, let me give a huge thank you to my Patreon and YouTube members. We couldn't do this without you. And we are full-time content creators, and it means a lot. So thank you for watching, and I hope you enjoyed it. And we will see you on the next one after I go get some rest. I'm tired. So have a wonderful night. I barely made it through that. I'm exhausted. Cool machine. Click the link in the description. If you want a Delta, now's the time. Seriously. Incredible. Amazing stuff.